Hi there, and welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Our reading, titled Rich in Good Deeds, was written by Karen Pimpo. After seven decades of hard work as a washerwoman, scrubbing, drying, and pressing clothes by hand, Osceola McCarty was finally ready to retire at the age of 86. She had scrupulously saved her meager earnings all those years, and to the amazement of her community, Osceola donated $150,000 to the nearby university to create a scholarship fund for needy students. Inspired by her selfless gift, hundreds of people donated enough to triple her endowment. Osceola understood the true value of her wealth was not in using it for her own gain, but to bless others. The Apostle Paul exhorted Timothy to command those who are rich in this present world to be rich in good deeds. Each of us have been given wealth to steward, whether it's in the form of financial means or other resources. Instead of trusting in our resources, Paul cautions us to put our hope only in God and to lay up treasure in heaven by being generous and willing to share. In God's economy, withholding and not being generous only leads to emptiness. Giving to others out of love is the way to fulfillment. To have both godliness and contentment with what we have instead of striving for more is great gain. What would it look like for us to be generous with our resources as Osceola was? Let us strive to be rich in good deeds today as God leads us. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 6 through 10 and 17 through 19. But godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into the world and we can take nothing out of it. But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. Those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. For the love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. Some people, eager for money, have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. Now picking up at verse 17. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant, nor to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put their hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share. In this way, they will lay up treasure for themselves as a firm foundation for the coming age, so that they may take hold of the life that is truly life. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for the resources you have gifted each of us with. Whether great or small, may we surrender them all to your service today. Thank you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Tony Collier, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.